This is Ukraine. It has lots of natural resources, big population, but it's extremely poor and has almost no industry. In this video, I'll try to develop it and conquer something from Russia. It doesn't exist at the start, so I'm going to release it. Let's release it and here it is. Now prepare yourself for a surprise. And yes, it's massive. Even the wildest Ukrainian nationalists don't dream of Ukraine this size. So let's see what do we have here. We lose 10,000 cold every week. Interesting. We can colonize, which is pretty interesting. Our economic situation is just abysmal, as you can see. Now my main goal is to fix it. I don't even know what should I start with. I guess let's start with interests. So I'm interested in Russia, Central Asia, and of course Ukraine is interested in South America. Africa and Indonesia and I still have one more interest left. Maybe Siberia. Now let's research something. I want to research atmospheric engine because I want railways. Railways are cool. By the way, there is a very interesting bug that I found. It may seem that I have surplus of bureaucracy, right? Everything is okay. No, nothing is okay, everything is bad, everything is awful. As you can see here, I don't have paper at all. So, if I exit the game, I'll return and I'll see like minus 300 of bureaucracy. That means that I can't exit the game until I fix paper supply situation. Alright, now let's see what's eating my money. Someone who is good at the economy. Please help me budget this, my economy is dying. So, for some reason we have more ships than Spain. I kid you not. They have 30 ships and we have 35. Ukraine has 35 ships. That's why I'll delete some of them. 20 is enough. And let's delete some barracks because, well, 83 barracks. It's insane. Well, that's already a pretty good income. So what I'll do now, now I'll build construction sectors. Of course I know that they are extremely expensive, but, well, I have none of them at all. I wouldn't be able to jumpstart my economy with this amount of factories. It's a very small amount and I want to increase it. Let's do it. So I'll build them in Kyiv. So obviously I have surplus of mana, as you can see. Authority and influence. First I'll improve relations with someone. Here it is. Diplomatic actions, improve relations, Austria, Ottomans. And let's do something with authority. So, my people are too poor, that's why I need to feed them, otherwise they'll become rebellious. That's why I'm going to choose this decree. Encourage agricultural industry. So, food should be cheaper now. Now let's just wait. By the way, I already should be able to increase relations with someone else. Let's try. Yes, here it is. Let's also improve relations with, I think, Russia and maybe create Chin. And let's finally build some colonies. So you may ask, what do Ukrainians want in South America? To be honest, I don't know, but it looks cool. I've lost interest in Indonesia for some reason, so let's colonize it instead of Africa. By the way, my construction sectors are already built. Now let's see our market. So everything is kinda expensive, but tools are the most valuable here. They are extremely valuable in this game. So let's, I don't know, build some iron mines. Okay, let's build iron mine in Luhansk and let's build tooling workshop. I think everything is fine with wood, I shouldn't build anything. Yes, it's fine, but iron, yeah, that's very bad, I don't have iron at all. Let's call us Indonesia. You may ask why do I want to colonize Indonesia? I don't know, but I want to. Also you might wonder why don't I declare on Cherkassia? The answer is pretty simple, not because I can't conquer it, but because, well, it's protected either by Russia or by Ottomans. And I don't know what's even worse. Technically I just need to wait for a good moment, maybe I'll be able to allow Ottomans, Prussia or someone else and then I'll put up a good fight. But for now I'll just ignore it. By the way, let's support Kazakhs. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, my brothers. Maybe I should have first built tooling manufacturer because, well, I can't produce iron without tools, but well, it will come in handy later. Hooray, Kazakhstan survived! Yeah, did it? It seems it didn't. Interesting and sad. Tooling workshop is complete. Now let's check market price. Let's build one more, I think. Let's build one more in Crimea. Or no, not in Crimea, there aren't enough of workers. Let's choose another state, like Rostov. Mechanical tools, and soon enough I'll discover railways. I think I should build one more tooling factory. Just one more, and I'll start building paper factories. Paper is quite important too. I have too much of money, so let's build another construction sector. Here it is, in Kyiv. By the way, I don't know why, but for some reason Ottomans always lose to Egypt. Tools are already cheaper, so I think I can start building paper manufacturers. Not sure do I have such big income, but if life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. I've almost hit the maximum gold reserve, so I think I should increase amount of construction sectors. By the way, tools are pretty cheap right now. Oh, interesting. Quite interesting. Let's accept. I like Austria. But by the way, if I'm not mistaken, East Galicia is part of Ukraine. Yes, it is. Right now I'm worried about Russia. It's not really powerful, of course, but it has a lot of cannon fodder. Let's maybe build one more construction sector. I don't like seeing positive income, to be honest. Ideally, it should be around zero, I think, with some reserves. 
Maybe it's not the best research order, but well, I like trains. They're cool. The paper shortage is solved. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think I should help my colonies. Recruit general, Nipper HQ, and navy. I still have some navy. Okay, and let's do naval landing here. Oh, no, I don't even need to. I just need to uh, advance front. Here it is. And maybe let's recruit another general too. This one. Ledger, why not? Uh, and advance front. I think I should buy weapons, unfortunately. Uh, because it's quite difficult to wage war without weapons, you know. Two arms then. Oh, Chile didn't join in. Apparently I'm idling, so I think it's time to build something else. Something new. So let's build bakeries. Let's build bakeries. Or maybe first I need to build grain farms. Uh, let's do it first. And then I'll build bakeries. Here it is. Ukrainian South America. It's glorious. Okay, then let's build port here. Incorporate states and build some ports here. It's difficult to live without ports, I think. I can choose another interest. Let's choose Africa. Why not? Not this one, maybe. Maybe this one. And let's colonize. Let's wait. Here it is. Colonization is on. So, I'm stockpiling gold, so I decided to build another construction sector. If something happens, I can just remove it. Here it is. Railways. Now, I think it's time for this. Thin water tube boiler, and also I think I should start building coal mines. Okay, now let's build clothes factories. In Crimea, the more the merrier. That's what I call good income. This is just perfect. I'm not losing much, but I'm not gaining much. What a tragedy. Don't care. So I definitely need more mines. Definitely need more mines because I need to build arms industry, and it's quite expensive. For some reason, Luhansk iron mine is not really profitable. Uh, let's build another ten. I think that's because I don't have enough of tools. So let's put another tool in industry. Quite interesting. There is a war? Seriously? With Russia? How did I miss it? Russia versus Hanover. Makes sense. Can I declare on Cherkassia? I can't. Understood. Oh my god. Poor Ottomans. Uh, let's improve relations with Egypt. Maybe I should build a more construction center. Because I have too much of money. So United States of America and Ukraine are neighbors. Well, I need to industrialize, so I think I'll build some coal mines. I think I finally understood why my mine didn't work. That's because I thought that tooling factories require iron. But actually they don't, you need to set it manually. Let's build some arms manufacturers in Luhansk. Luhansk is my industrial capital. Unfortunately, I'm not a great power anymore. So I've changed my interests a little. Maybe that's because I'm developing too slowly. That means that I should build more construction sectors. I need some bureaucracy to pass some laws. So I think I should build some government buildings. Let's do it. So I think I should start promoting some factions like for example, for example, who should I promote? So I want to abolish serfdom, that's why I'm going to promote intelligentsia. I need to start reforming my government. So new technology. I think intensive agriculture because I want dynamite. I want explosions. This may be a pretty good law. Of course land owners wouldn't be happy. And that's kind of bad I think, because they represent or like half of my country. Now I understand why the Russia can so serve them so late. By the way, I think those numbers are kinda unreliable. Uh, because basically almost every industrial building uses tools, as you can see, and it drastically increases its output. So technically I don't lose money by building tool factories. Yes, they become cheaper, but still the economy becomes healthier. So yeah, that's weird. Maybe let's form alliance with Austria. Maybe let's do it, I need more diplomana, but I think it's worth it. Here it is, Austrian-Ukrainian alliance. I hope Germany will join in too, and we will beat up Russia. I'm already on 10th place by GDP. I think that's quite an achievement, considering that I didn't have any industry. Right now, by the way, business is booming. I already plan to transition to another method of building. I might try it even now, and it will be even cheaper. Not quite, okay, not quite. To transition, I need a lot more iron. And, well, that's it. Uh, everything else is okay. I'll build more iron mines. Here it is. TNT. Although I would say that my economic situation is quite worrying because of interest. Maybe I should cut down on construction because it's just too expensive. Let's leave four construction centers. I need to get out of debt somehow. Unfortunately, it's not EU4, I can't beat someone up and steal their money. Well, technically can, but it wouldn't be worth it. Another native uprising. Okay, let's mobilize military. Should be quite easy. Here it is, my new colony in Africa. Ukrainians in Africa. Hooray, a minor power. Well, let's colonize something else, I guess. What should I colonize? What should I colonize? Congo. Why not? Well, I've tried. I've tried. Uh, let's annex something else. Can I? I can't. So, I guess uh, let's choose this law. It should pass relatively easy. I think it's finally time to fight landowners. Because they interfere with my plans. That's why I'm going to invite someone in my government. Maybe industrialists. Uh, yes, industrialists, I think. Reform government? Industrialists? 
and let's see, can I invite rural folks? I can, but I shouldn't. Well, let's invite them. Confirm. So guys, how to win in capitalism? To win in capitalism, you need to produce a lot of goods for cheap. That's why I'm going to produce even more tools. I have a lot of them, but I want even more. I want them to be dirt cheap. For this, I want to create steel factory. Steel factory, right? And to create steel factory, I need more coal and I need more iron. Uh, let's try in Luhansk. Well, it shows that it's unprofitable, but believe me, it would be profitable. And uh, let's build more mines. All mines in Luhansk, or maybe in Kherson. Kherson or Lugansk. Let's build it in Kherson. And believe me or not, I need still to build trains. Why do I need trains? Because I want to be advanced nation and not some backwater Russian puppet. But to be honest, I need a lot of instruction to right now, if only I had money for this. Oh, I can change economic system. Let's do it. So, of course, I wanted to change army model, but for some reason it doesn't work. Oh, and you can abolish serfdom? Seriously? Well, let's... Let's do it, maybe. I don't like serve them. And it will weaken landowners, and I will greatly benefit from it. Well, they decreased my income, but I think I can live with it. I want to be prosperous in future, and not now. Okay, now I can change some production methods. Let's try, let's try. I want more tools, that's why I'm going to choose this option. Let's see. Quite successful, quite successful guys, as you can see. Ukraine number one steel producer. Also, I guess I need to start building chemical factories, because I need to get explosives. Explosives are very cool. I guess you agree. Someone is better than me. Spain? Seriously? Did they conquer something or what? Why are they so big? Uh, okay, we are quickly industrializing, so I think we'll be soon better than them. TNT. Finally, now I can produce even more of everything. Capitalism at its finest. Now let's do it. Let's research something military. Logistics is everything. You can't win wars without logistics. So let's do it. Well, I need sulfur mines, I guess. And where can I build them? I can build them in Patagonia, in my colonies. But there aren't enough people. So I guess I should buy them from someone. I guess I should. Well, I need some money, so let's tax stuff. Like, luxury clothes, why not? And what if I choose it as very high taxes? Okay, let's lower them a little. There is not enough of grain for everyone. That's why I'm going to use fertilizers. Also, by the way, third coal mine in the world. Well, here it is. Finally, I've started using fertilizers. That should be enough to feed all of my people. And I need more of them. More of everything. Let's try building more, let's try building more. I just need to build everything, like I have shortage of steel, I have shortage of fertilizer, I don't have enough of construction. By the way, is grain cheap? Yes, grain is quite cheap right now. Mission accomplished. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Boost our industries. Now I'm gonna be swimming in money. Now, because my tools are very cheap, and my iron is very extremely cheap, I can choose this method of building and I can build more for cheaper. I can't unfortunately, I can't, I still lose money. So I have enough of wood, I have enough of tools, not enough of iron, not enough of iron. So I guess I need to increase literacy, because I need engineers. Finally some development in my social life. And how can I improve my literacy? Universities? Well, I guess so, let's build university, let's build university. Number one coal mine in the world, in Luhansk. Okay, now let's see what should I improve. Fertilizer. More fertilizers. I'm all for it. In Kyiv. Or in Kursk. In Kyiv, why not? Shame that I can't mine sulfur. It's very unfortunate, because I don't want to buy it. I don't want to, but I have to. There is no life without sulfur. A less research team donkey, I guess. I need more of everything. More resources. More everything. By the way, I'm not really sure how is Spain growing so fast, and why is Russia so, well, backwards. Like, it didn't grow its GDP at all. Like, it was 45 million, now it's like 47. I'm so rich that I broke the UI. Sad story. Can't do anything about it, unfortunately. I need profits. I need more profits. I think I've overdone it. My iron is almost free right now. Let's sell it, because I don't want this factory to bankrupt. Yes, I really don't want to. It was accidentally. Okay, let's sell it to Russia or no, Chin. Let's uh, build more steel mills, I guess. Let's start damaging relations with Russia. I'm already approaching it in terms of GDP. I can't above serve them for now for some reason. Let's try to change our army. It has a pretty good chance. By the way, I think it's time to finally upgrade our infantry. Uh, that's why I'm going to build a munition factory. I think my income is too big. I need to lower it. That's why I'm going to build another construction sector. Very cool. Finally some reform. Finally. Let's pass another law. Because uh, I didn't do anything with politics for quite a time. Like 30 years, I think. That's why I'm going to enact everything fast. Health insurance. Let's do it. I need to build more government buildings. I want to build another construction sector. I have too much of money, so I need to spend it somehow. Very cool. New social reforms. Let's reform something else. Serve them. I want to abolish it. By the way, I need more tools. 
more tools because tools are just too expensive right now so let's build more tooling factories well yeah it's sad i think it's sad not like i care but it's sad it seems like i can't yet i will serve them let's perform something another maybe this one it's a lot better than traditionalism that's already something i guess let's build railways i like trains let's add either intelligentsia or rural folks to our government because i need to pass some laws and it's quite difficult maybe rural folks well, let's try at least. Let's try. And it should be easier to enact new laws. So, I think it's finally time to build electricity. Hey, this event, to be honest, like, hate landowners. I lose some money, but it's better to enact this reform. Here it is, the first power plant in Ukraine. Let's electrify something. Let's electrify some railways. Not all of them, but some of them. I can't yet. I can't. Quite interesting. Then why do I need uh, power plants? I guess I'll use it in textile mills, I think. How expensive is electricity? Quite expensive, quite expensive. I need to lower its price. I think I should definitely do something with literacy because I'll see a lot of these messages like not enough qualifications. Let's build more construction sectors, I think. By the way, I'm major power, but Spain is somehow richer than me. Finally, I am somewhat advanced. I'm somewhat advanced. And now I want to abolish serfdom. And then I'll be quite prosperous nation. And quite rich, by the way, quite rich. More construction sectors. More. Oh, by the way, I can make more interests. Let's do it. Let's do it. Declare interests. Siberia, why not? And by the way, I can establish new colony here. And let's declare interest, interest, interest here. Let's create colony here and here. By the way, the game is already quite slow, as you can see. Oh my god, I'm better than Russia. I'm better than Russia, guys. I'll soon declare on it. I'll soon declare on it. I just need more GDP. Hooray, serfdom is abolished. Finally. It took eternity. It definitely took too long. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's change something, at least. Uh, schools, I want schools. Religious schools, seriously? Let's at least enact religious schools. Hooray, electric railways. I've been waiting for this, to be honest. Yes, I've been waiting. Unfortunately, I don't have that much of electricity. Well, to be honest, I don't have that much of anything. Now, I'm going to have educated workforce, and I'm going to be even richer, and I'm going to exploit even more people. Oh, by the way, uprising. Sounds fun, sounds fun. Who's surprising? Uh -huh. These people. No problem, I'll conquer them. Uh, by the way, I think they should buff native uprising because it's just like very easy to combat them. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, defensive pact is defensive pact. For their rivals, almost everyone. By the way, let's pass some law. Let's think, no democracy for now, I, I don't like democracy. Wow. Finally, I'm going to be rich, guys, I'm going to be rich. The war has broken out. How long is it going to take? One week, two weeks, that's it. Also, by the way, I guess let's do a rivalry with Russia. What are Americans doing in Africa? Ukraine is stronger than the United States of America. Why is Spain so rich? Recently it was like 60 million with something. Now it's like 90 million. Finally, guys, I'm rich. I'll start building barracks. I want to declare on Russia soon enough. Not on Russia, but on Cherkassia. Russia has some alliances. So I need to pass another law. I need to pass mass conscription. Let's do it. I'll pass it and we'll build a lot of barracks. Let's build a few more construction sectors. Well, I already have pretty good stockpile, so I'm not really worried about war. Uh, I think I should survive for one or two years, and that should be enough. My legitimacy is for some reason very low, so I need to increase it somehow. How? I don't know. Uh, let's try to figure out something, I don't know. I'm not sure why landowners left, but that's hurting my legitimacy. Can they reform? Understood why. Understood why. They're angry. Let's suppress them. Here they are. Suppress. English proletarian revolt. I doubt that I can help England. So how can I send thoughts and prayers? Where is this button? So I think I can finally install landowners. So let's do it. I need uh, to, you know, like pass some laws. I need to stop suppressing, and now I can reform the government. I think I can. Okay, let's capitulate. Of course, it's quite low chance, but I hope that this law passes. I really want to declare on Russia. And and yes. So let's build barracks. Twenty here, twenty here, twenty here, and twenty here. So I think I'm sick and tired of waiting. Let's declare on Circassia right now. Let's do it, and I will win. I guarantee you, I will. Let's mobilize our army. Advance front here. Advance front here. We are on offensive, and let's recruit conscripts. Conscripts are pretty good. Cannon fodder is always good. Let's import everything necessary, like small arms. Why can I import from Russian market? I'm at war with them. China backed them. Okay, Ottomans, please help me. Ottomans, help me. Okay, uh, and let's add war goal. Conquer state. Moscow. And conquer state. Bransk. Well, I can make some tea, sleep a little. It's going to take quite some time. It was a very good idea to fill my treasury. Like I said, this war is extremely expensive. Of course, I wouldn't stop economic just because of this little annoyance. 
Let's build furniture factories. Well, this turns into some kind of war of attrition. That's great, guys. That's great. Now it would be a piece of cake. That was extremely good idea to build up treasury. Yes. It is glorious. No, really, look at this. It's perfect form. Uh, well, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I would play even more, of course. I quite like this game. Funny borders, funny borders. I, I really like this game, of course, but unfortunately, the game is just too slow right now. Not unplayable, of course. Not unplayable, but I don't know. I'm already pretty developed nation. I don't think that there is any challenge anymore. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel.